Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today's gonna be a very important video for our level up trader. And before we get right into it, a lot of you aren't subscribed. Uh, so please, please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to grow the community. All right, so please hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, but yeah, today we're gonna be talking about our level up trader, which is by far my favorite auto trader and our developer, uh, his favorite auto trader. And it's becoming a crowd favorite because you can use it on smaller accounts and scale it quicker, right? And we do have a 70% off for two months uh, code down in the description. So definitely recommend getting it at least to try it out for a couple months. Okay. So getting right into it, this is going to be kind of a full tutorial because we haven't, we don't have a lot of like full, full videos, full in everything you need to know about the level up trader. So we're going to be going over that today. Okay. So um, first, when you do buy the level up auto trader with the discount code, you will download the file and you will need to join the discord if you aren't and dm me personally your machine id okay you do this by going to help then you do third party licensing for the vendor name you'll type in bb3cs financial services and for your, the user id you'll type in your last name so let's make up a last name all right so user whatever you type in your last name all lower case all lowercase click submit and you'll copy this send it to me Okay, then we'll get that machine ID activated for you. Okay. Once you download the file, then you'll go head into your tools, you'll head into import, head into ninja script add on. And this is where you will add the actual uh, file right into ninja trader. Okay, so you just select it and you'd import it. Okay. Um, then what you'd be doing is you'd go to new, you go to chart. You'd select NQ because it trades NQ and then you'd set up your brick size and trend threshold. Okay. And then I would load like five, 10, 15 days. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, I have the chart pulled up here. So the brick size, again, you will be loading 36 and then two for the trend threshold. Okay. Let me get that perfect right there. Okay. So. I know it's white, so it's a little hard to see. Okay. But once you have this imported, it is an indicator. So you will go to your indicators tab, wait for it to pop up and you'll scroll down until you find Eastern Roman empire public. You'll add that, you click that add button and then you select your account. Okay. So playback for me, I'm Eastern time. So any day that's not our specific, uh, news events, which would be like people, PI, uh, PCE, CPI, um, NFP, and one more, um, which we have a full PDF on, which we can go over. Um, there's certain times that you can trade news, okay? Um, but most of the time, we'll just be trading overnight while we're sleeping. So our start time, again, I'm Eastern. I'm running from 3 a.m. to 8.15 a.m. Eastern time, okay? So if you're central time, you do 2 a.m. to 7.15 a.m., okay? And then set the same thing for start time two, end time two. Profit target, that's up to you. I set mine at 1,000. I've had a couple, or one time where it was like 1,500. Again, this is for a 50K account, so that's a lot. Um, you can set it to 400, 500, whatever you want, really. The takeaway for bars, that'll be seven. And that's kind of our default number is seven. And then you always have this non-reversal trades selected unless you have news okay then you would click apply all right you click apply there okay so this these are going to be your regular settings okay i also have some other templates so our our regular uh news this is the settings i would use again this is eastern time so those news events that come out at 8 30 a.m uh, we'd run it from one minute after the news for about 29 minutes so we'd run from 8 31 to 9 a.m and then we uncheck the reversal trades uh, checkbox here. And then you would recheck reversals on this box over here. Okay. Then we finally just have one for CPI, which is the same exact settings as the one we just showed. It's just, you're going to up the take weight for bars to 22. Okay. And then again, make sure you check the reversals. Only check that reversals box here when there's big news. When you're doing news. Okay. Now going over the ATM strategies, you're going to need to make a custom one. So I just named it custom level up. Then you're going to need to make one called imperator exactly how this is. And then SPQR. Okay. 
And for our custom one, for a 50K account, I run four contracts. You can do three if you want. So three, you do one on one. Four, I do two one one. Um, stop losses are right here, 45. Profit, 15, 24, and 30. And then we do a custom stop strategy for target two, which is right here. So profit trigger 15 uh, plus negative 15. <clears throat> and then a one step auto trail, 25, 10, one. Okay. So we're just gonna go through all these. Imperator, I run three contracts, so a two and a one. 35 stop, 60 stop, 30 profit, 45 profit. Okay. And then the Imperator stops, 32 and plus negative five. And then again, 32 and plus negative five for the custom stops, okay? And then SPQR, again, I run four contracts, a two on one stops. They're gonna be 30, 35, 42. These are in ticks, remember? And then 15, 22, and 43. And then the custom stops are gonna be for target two and target three. So a 15 plus negative five. And again, a 15 plus a negative five, okay? And then once you have that all set up, you'll always You'll, you're never gonna have the Imperator and SPQR selected. Okay, you'll always have your custom level up selected. And that'll pop up up here in the ATM strategy. It's pretty faint, okay? And then once we're ready to test, we make sure we have our account selected. Click apply, okay. And then we would have arm long, arm short. And if you want it obviously to be automated, continuous, okay? And then that's it. It's now set up and you need to make sure you have level two data, okay? Um, need to make sure you have level two data for this to work, right? So last week, this is, we'll go over last week here. Check Forex factory. So on Monday, we had no news. Tuesday, again, no news. So we were on regular settings. Wednesday, regular settings. Thursday, since we have GDP, we'd run news settings, okay? If there was no GDP, like if it was just unemployment claims, we do not trade unemployment claims day, okay? It's just it hasn't worked out in the past. But since there's GDP, we can run the news settings. And then same thing on Friday, uh, PCE price index, that is news as well. So Thursday, Friday, news. Alrighty guys, so that is all we're gonna go over in this video. Um, hopefully you guys understand how to set up level up and have a rundown of kind of how you can use it um, and how to at least set it up because it's not as hard as everyone makes it sound to set up. And then to run it, again, we provide a full PDF of instructions um in our discord chat which looks like this okay step one has all the atms here um and then we have right here a new strategy for advanced users beginner beginner users should just switch it off for any red folder events you trade only cpi fmc ppi pce and gdp okay um so yeah there you go and one minute after news go for 30 minutes <clears throat> and then that's about it, right? So there you go. Full, full info there and how to set it up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.